patient is prescribed 100 milligrams of a drug, the pharmacy sends an oral suspension labeled 12.5 milligrams per two mils to the ward. How much would a nurse administer? So as we always say, we have to just identify our want and our have. Our want always related to the patient. Prescribed is a good word to remind us that that's what we want. The have is always the, the, the double piece of information, the element that contains two quantities. And that slash, that really helps to remember that's our have. Well, the have element will be within that ratio. So if we were using the formula method, so I would suggest we always would probably write the formula. So what we want divided by what we have multiplied by, in this case, it will be the volume, but I always like saying multiplied by the third quantity because it could be tablets, it could be volume. So let, let's try to now organize this. So what do we want? We want 100 milligrams. Write the unit in. I'll always suggest you do that. The have will be 12.5 milligrams or 2 mils. Which one matches the milligram unit that we already have in the formula? It has to be the 12.5. And why is that? Because we when we use the formula, we need to actually match the top and the bottom of this fraction. So what have we done here? Let's say we use the 100, we've used the 12.5 milligrams. What's the third quantity left now? Well, it will be the 2 mils, in this case the volume. So multiply by 2 mils. So what happens? Again, cancel the milligrams. And so the final answer will be in mils. So let's try to do a mental calc here before we use the calculator to, to do the calc. So it's 100 divided by 12.5. 12.5 is difficult to, to work with mentally, so we could imagine that being just a teen. So if we were to do the estimation here on the side, 100 divided by teen, let's round that just to make it easier in our heads, multiplied by 2. So 100 divided by 10, how many 10s into 100? 10. 10 times 2? 20. So our estimate says our answer should be around 20. It won't be 20 because we didn't use the 12.5 original quantity. So using the calculator, pushing the buttons, 100 divided by 12.5 multiplied by 2, we get 16. So 16 mils. Read the question again and check if we have answered what was asked. How much will the nurse administer? 16 mils.